Hi, I'm John Kennedy from SiliconRepublic.com and I'm here today with the Galaxy S smartphone from Samsung. The Samsung Galaxy S smartphone, it's uh, a smartphone that's running on the, um, the Google Android operating system. Uh, there is, uh, as you know, a number of manufacturers in the world running this operating system. And the interesting thing about uh, the Android story is that in one year it's grown from something like less than 2% of the global smartphone market to around 17%, which is an extraordinary uh, amount of progress. I think Gartner say this is, a, for, for Google, it's a, an 886% uh, jump in, 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 uh, in, in shipments of these type of devices. Uh, Samsung device, the Galaxy S, I mean, there's going to be the inevitable uh, comparisons with, say, things like the iPhone because of its shape, um, but it's actually a much lighter device um, and the screen feels slightly bigger, um, but it's, it's quite the same size, but it's actually a much, much lighter device and uh, actually a joy to use, I have to say. Um, the first Android phones I would have used would have been quite... Um, actually buggy and I have to say this one is actually you know a joy to use because it's very uh, seamless and I'd say quite addictive is the word I'd use. Um, it has all the various attributes you'd expect of um, an Android based device uh, the ability it's, 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 it's a little computer really it's 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 um, it's got all your things for taking notes uh, your maps Google Earth um, all your information can be punched to you basically um, the uh, news um, as you need. Um, where I think it kind of comes into its own is actually as a gaming device. I'll just show you a game I, I like to play now and then. It's a kind of a shoot, shooting game. Uh, Winds of Steel. So as you can see, you're flying along. I mean this is very much similar to your PC experience. Like you would have um, basically could have bought these type of games for your PC, but now it's like you can try and shoot someone down if you want. Um, but the screen quality is 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 quite amazing. So some of the applications on it are quite interesting. Here's uh, one I like a lot, Kayak, which is great if you're traveling. Um, so you can check out your flights, your hotels. Um, you can book if you want. It's it's quite a, a seamless uh, application. Really, really nicely presented, and it shows you that you know good apps aren't just confined to things like the iPhone. Like the the quality of app development on the Android market is very good. I have to say, uh, one of my favorite applications currently is Google Goggles. So I'll just show you that in action. It just cooperates. Here we go. I'm going to take uh, what we have here is um, screen cleaner we use in the office for cleaning laptop devices and what I go do is I'm going to take a picture of this and what it's going to do is scan and it's told me what it is and where I can find it on Google and you know it's uh, it also makes bicycle products if you ever really need to know that <laughs> um, the the device itself is very, very, very uh, easy to use. For example, I'll just show you now applications. You can go to the store and download something. So, for example, I want to bring uh, one of these applications to my front screen. All I have to do is just put my um, finger on it, and it just comes up like that. So it's really good. So I can go in and write as I like, send a message from there. It's a really, a really fun smartphone to use. Um, the gaming quality on it is very good. The screen quality, the camera is sublime. It's absolutely a, an amazing device. Uh, I think as smartphones go, I mean, these 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 things are really like little computers. Here, for example, this is my list of applications that's running at the moment. Uh, I have games running, I have a calculator running, um, an app store running. Uh, the Samsung app store actually is also on this device, so you can actually have a look at uh, basically you can buy apps from the Google marketplace if you want. So here we are in the Android market uh, so I can get PayPal for my mobile. The, the interesting thing about Android is that apps are arriving constantly all the time. There's the Onion News Network, Time Magazine is there, uh, some of the stuff now you might be interested in is um, 
here's some of the top free apps and just looking stuff I can a lot of stuff is quite similar to what you'd find on it um, there's the Google Goggles app that I like quite a lot um, some very good productivity apps actually if you could find them here now is there's where's my droid if you lose your phone <laughs> there is um, metal detector on it apparently you have to try that and see if it actually works um, it's converters so it was amazing to see what's just in now there's a mortgage calculator I don't think many of you will be using that in this weather locate your phone again seems to be a very popular type of application so if you were a snob about whether you are just an iPhone person or you just prefer Android. I'd say Android is quite a new a new arrival in in the last year. As I said, the progress has been amazing, but the 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 wealth of applications on it is 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 frightening. I think um, just watch the space for the next year or two. You'll see not only Android smartphones, but you'll see Android tablets come on, and uh, it's just going to be a very interesting market. Basically. The Samsung Galaxy S to me is a fun, fun and functional phone to use. Light, uh, very, very dynamic, and as I said, um, a joy to use. So it's definitely would have been one I'd recommend. So there we have it, the Galaxy S smartphone from Samsung. <laughs>